to our lesson on compound percentage changes. So we're going to begin with this question. Each year, a car loses 12% of its value. Its starting value was £12,000. Calculate its value after three years. There's two ways of doing this question. We'll do it one way, and then we'll see if we can try and make it more efficient to try it another way. Because the starting value is £12,000, this is 100% and it loses 12% of its value every year. So we're taking away 12%, which is 88%. Now to calculate a percentage change, we need to use a multiplier, which involves converting 88% to a decimal. We do this by dividing it by 100. So we have 0.88, and this is our multiplier. So at the end of year one, we have our multiplier of 0.88 multiplied by the original value of £12,000. And this is £10,560. In year two, we have the same multiplier of 0.88 multiplied by the amount we have from the end of year one, which is 10560 So now we have £9,292.80. And at the end of year three, we have the same increase, 0.88, of the year two amount, which is £9,292.80, we have £8,177.66. There is a more efficient way of doing this question. If you can see, we're multiplying by 0.88 by the number of years that we have. So we have our multiplier, 0.88, raised to the power of a number of years, which is three. You can see we have one, two, three of the original 12,000 pounds. And this is a much more efficient way of calculating a compound percentage change. And we do get the same value of 8,177 pounds, 66 pence. Okay, let's try and work out for five years. So for five years, we have our multiplier of 0.88 to the power, raised to the power of five multiplied by the 12,000 pounds. And this is 6,332 pound 78 pence. Okay, let's try some more questions. Walmart department store said they would reduce the price of goods by 3% for each day of a sale. A coat was originally priced at £75. What was its price after five days and one week? Do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? So to begin with, we need to calculate our multiplier. The original percentage is 100% and this is the £75. The price of goods is reduced by 3%, so we're taking away the 3% from the original, so we're left with 97%. And to convert that to a multiplier, we divide it by 100, and we get 0.97. So this is our multiplier. To work out the price after five days, we have the multiplier, 0.97, raised to the power of five, times by the original, £75 and this is £64.41. The price after one week is the same multiplier, 0.97, this time raised to a power of 7, no 7 days in a week, multiplied by the original £75 and we have £60.60. And 60 pence. Okay, let's try one more question. A bird colony is decreasing at 15% per annum. The original population is 750 birds. After how many years will there be fewer than 400 birds left? This is slightly different to the questions we've been doing, but the method remains the same. Do you want to try this question yourself by pausing the video? And you can resume it when you're ready. So like I said, we'll go through the question the same way. We have a 15% decrease, the original, is 100%, we're taking 15% away. So our multiplier is 85% or 0.85. And 
and we use our multiplier we raise it to the power of a number of years which we don't know so we're going to call this x and this is that multiplied by the original number of births which is 750 and there has to be fewer than 400 birds left so this has to be less than 400 because we need to find the power of x we're going to use a method of trial and improvement we'll begin by using x is equal to 3 so we have 0.85 to the power of 3 multiplied by 750 and this is 460 birds which is too many so to decrease it further we can improve our initial try of 3 we'll try 4 so now we have 0.85 to the power of 4 multiplied by 750 and this is 391 birds so to answer the question there will be four years okay thank you very much for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care